Hey guys, welcome back to Got Fuels Model Car Garage. I'm going to do shop card ads. Um, uh, we got all of these except for one uh, at the at Acme. And some stash ads that not only I've ordered lately, uh, but also picked up at Acme. So, uh, got to meet Rick. Rick Rusty Rotors. Uh, super nice guy. Great channel. Um, doing a, a lot of printing for people and, and uh, I think through maybe Iceman I'm, I can't remember 100% sure on that no, don't quote me but great builder uh, enjoyed meeting you and your and your lovely better half and had a great time at the show with you uh, Mr. Rick then we got Terry 2 Terry Brownlee Terrence Brownlee uh, he's always in my hangout uh, every Saturday uh, or just about every Saturday. It was great to finally meet you. And uh, his shop card is a render that Miguel over at Devil Dog Dot Games done for him. So, uh, uh, yeah, it was nice, great to finally meet you. And that's an awesome shop, car shop card. Love that Chevelle. Uh, and thank you for the kind words on the back, too, sir. And then we got Little Man, Munchkin Man, Dan. Uh, the second time I've got to meet Dan, uh, really enjoy hanging with him at the at Acme last year and uh, just yes uh, yesterday. Uh, always have a good time. That's the one with, that Fred and I folded up in the back of my Mustang last year, and <laughs> enjoyed the weekend hanging with that hanging out with you again, sir. We appreciate you. It's attention to detail. Uh, got to meet him again uh, the second time. It's a great guy, him and his him and his wife, Miss Ernie Hatmaker. Uh, we sure enjoy hanging out with you as well at the shows. And then we got to meet for the first time Dylan over at NYS Modeling. Fantastic builder. He actually carried home an award. Um, what was that for the it was uh, Model Car Magazine Award um, with his Bugatti. Uh, great builder great build with the Bugatti and uh, we enjoy your channel too as well sir and then we got Mr. Dan over at 60's Rule got his new shop card in uh, he's always in the chat um, just about every Saturday uh, in there chiming in and uh, we enjoy uh, what you bring to the table with us in the chat and in your channel as well and a great builder y'all go check out uh mr 60s rule so let's see first of all we'll go with some stash ads we got from acme and um i've been eyeing a gtr for quite some time this was an open box but uh does appear to be all there so um i'm really looking forward to digging into that at some point in time and then, if y'all know me last year when I was at Acme, I was looking all over the place for one of these kits. 69 GTO. I found one. Uh, it was open box. Uh, I eventually found the 68 too. I remember doing a 68 and a 69 as a kid. But for some reason, the 69 um, is my favorite all-time muscle car. I... I it's it's with the front end on it something with with the grill area the headlight area that um, has always been my favorite muscle car. Uh, no, it's not because I'm a Pontiac man or nothing. I just it's the front end, the hood scoop. Um, I, I just always admired this car. Always have. Uh, probably always will. Um, let's see. We picked up two of these. Um, we actually found a good price on these for $30. Got two of these I'm really looking forward to digging. I've seen some guys like Jason over there at Blue Ox build up this kit. Um, Tim Holsey, I, I believe this is the kit he's working on right now too. And uh, this just looks like a fantastic kit. And uh, I, can't, I can't wait to dig into it at some point in time as well. I'm going to have to think of a nice paint job for it though, Do I do believe. So I got two of those. And we picked up one of these, 57 Chevy Bel Air, uh, 
looking forward to doing something with that at some point in time. And we picked up a 37 Ford Coupe Street Rod. We got a couple of the, uh, uh, see, I got a, an older Street Rod, 37, and then I have, I got a couple. I got the orange kit and the yellow kit in this. So, different wheels and all. I like... I like this one like it's it stands a little better uh, as long as it sits like this that low uh, would probably build it just like it is except for without the flames and do something special with the paint and of course you know I just recent love affair for this kit I found two of these for $20 um, so that adds to the tally both of them were sealed kits I also picked up a redemption kit for the uh, Veronica Tribute build. I need a good paint job. Uh, any of y'all been following this channel for a while? I've done the uh, tribute build for Veronica, uh, Rick's and Nick's daughter. And uh, I was uh, so disappointed in the paint job on this. And uh, we definitely won't be building it with the hoods the uh, shaker hood because it don't fit or if I do I will be doing some test fitting uh, to get that engine to drop down a little better but yes um, this is going to be a redemption uh, kit for sure and then I actually went to my local hobby lobby and snag these two I got I did, this right here is a fantastic kit I don't have another one of those so I was glad I was able to pick up another one and I got it 20% off that 26 $27 so jumped on it I got this one too as well at 20% off right after they put it on the shelf it's 40% uh, rather of the $36 sticker price and I had somebody oh frizzo mr. Frank frizzo he told me that I needed to do a Hudson to put beside my Cadillac and my 49 so I took your advice sir and picked one up uh, so I look forward to thinking of a fancy paint job maybe something different on the roof not just a solid color lowering it an inch or so scale inch or so so yeah look forward to that kit as well pick that up at my hobby lobby i mean hobby town and we got a new owner as i probably have mentioned before my hobby town uh as soon as this kit uh as soon as he said he would order us anything i immediately went to him and asked him to order me two of these kits um i know what i'm doing with one y'all know my dad uh had a 66 Malibu and uh, I'm thinking of if he would have kept it and he would have had it when I was a teenager thinking about doing it how I would have done it as a teenager which uh, would be the, the larger back tires of course that's what was in style in the 80s was the centerline type wheels but the front end's coming down the front end is coming down a little bit gonna get that rake and then um, I got an email from um, uh, Hobby Nut with these in stock I went ahead uh, because I'm in the UAFC uh, U USA unified U unified scale automotive content creators USA CC uh, build off I got one kit, one of the older kits. The glass is bad, so I said, "What the hell?" I snatched up two of them actually. So, and then for the hell of it, I threw this in the order as well. Figured, why not? So, yeah, that's what we, that's what we have added to the stash in the last uh, several months and at Acme. So, that's all we got. We thank y'all for watching. Got fuels, motor car garage.